attention. All hints and tips shown here are personal experiences and serve as support. The repair is at your own risk. Compatible display frame for the Galaxy S7. Original display frame for the Galaxy S7. We have tested the quality and fit of a compatible display frame for the Galaxy S7. We wanted to know if the cheaper compatible frames could keep up with the original product or if it would be better to stay away from it. Since the compatible display frames are over 50% cheaper, this alternative could well be worthwhile. But do you have to live for the lower price with an inferior quality? We will show you in this video. Before, just a short explanation. The compatible display frames are also original goods. However, the frames were assembled by a third-party company which could result in a different quality. But see for yourself. Differences at first sight. In terms of visual appearance, we noticed the following differences when looking at the two display frames for the first time. First, some protective foils are missing on the compatible frame. Second, the loudspeaker grid on the compatible frame is slightly crooked. Third, both the frame itself and the loudspeaker grid of the compatible display frame differ slightly in color from the original. Assembly of the compatible display frame. We'll now show you how to mount the compatible display frame and then reassemble the device to identify any quality and fit differences. If you also want to see how the device is disassembled, then watch this video. Samsung Galaxy S7 screen replacement. Transferring components to the new LCD screen unit. Insert the lower mainboard into the display frame and thread the touch keys through the frame. Hint. For fixing the touch keys, you can use the original adhesive foil, available on our webshop with the item number 823459, as well as double-faced universal adhesive, like we did. Cut four narrower strips of the double-faced universal adhesive and fix them on the touch keys. Cut two more narrow strips of the universal adhesive and stick them under the touch keys to fix these. Hint, at this point we've recognized the following small blemish of the compatible display frame. The notch for the touch keys on the display frame is a bit too flat, so it might be possible that the keys stick out too far. In the worst case, that could lead to the result that the screen does not close completely after fixing it on the frame. Fortunately, that did not happen in our case. Of course, each frame will be slightly different, but the danger exists in any case. Remove the protective foil from the home button notch on the display frame. Thread the home button flex through the display frame and adjust the home button module on the notch.
fixing the LCD screen on the display frame. Hint. We suggest using the original adhesive foil for the screen of the Galaxy S7 for fixing the LCD screen on the display frame. Remove the protective foil from the display adhesive. Adjust the adhesive on the edge of the screen and fix it by pushing once around, for example with the help of the spudger. Do also remove the protective foil from the front side of the adhesive. There is also another protective foil on the display frame that must be removed. Now you can remove the last protective foil from the screen adhesive. Then hold the screen on the display frame and thread the LCD flex cable through it. Adjust the screen by orientating on the home button and start below with fixing it on the frame. Transferring further components to the new LCD screen unit. Insert the earphone jack and push it slightly until it is locked in. Link the connector of the earphone jack to the lower mainboard. Remove the speaker module protective foil from the display frame. Remove the adhesive residuals from the speaker module, insert the module and push it slightly. Fix three screws cross on the lower mainboard. Remove one protective foil from the display frame. Insert the sensor flex and push it slightly with the spudger. Remove two more protective foils. Connect the main board with the lower main board and lay it down to the display frame. Thread the antenna cable into the display frame by using the tweezer and link the connectors. Insert the lower antenna and push it slightly until it is locked in completely. Insert and connect the Vibra. Then adjust the mainboard, push it carefully and link the connectors. fixing the battery. Hint: New display frames usually still include adhesive foil for the battery. If you do not use a new frame, you can also fix the battery alternatively with double-faced universal adhesive or with the original battery adhesive for the Galaxy S7. Remove the protective foil from the display frame. 
hold the battery on the display frame and link the battery connector. Adjust and fix the battery by pushing it solid. Fixing the antennas. Insert and fix the NFC antenna. Do also insert and fix the upper antenna module. Fix 12 screws cross. Insert the SIM card tray. Closing the device. Hint, if you use a new battery cover like we did, then you do not need a separate adhesive because new battery covers are usually equipped with adhesive. If you do not use a new cover, we suggest using the original battery cover adhesive for the Galaxy S7. Remove the protective foils from the adhesive on the battery cover. Start above with laying down the battery cover on the display frame and adjust it on the camera. Push the battery cover solid once around with the cloth. Conclusion Overall, we are satisfied with the result of our test. Considering the relatively large price difference between the compatible and the original display frame, the result is really good. One should be aware that the small defects found by us or other small deviations from the original may well occur. But if you are ready to accept that, then you can certainly use a compatible frame instead of the original. Certainly, there is always a residual risk that one of the defects is so serious that it leads to major problems with the fit. In the course of this test, we also looked at other display frames for the other colors of the Galaxy S7 and so far we have not found a defect that would have prevented that the device can be assembled completely and in good quality. In any case, we have a thumbs up for the overall impressions and the good price performance ratio. Just visit our webshop stellatech.com and get an overview for yourself. We have made two more Galaxy S7 videos for you that might interest you too. Samsung Galaxy S7 Battery Replacement Samsung Galaxy S7 Screen Replacement If you have any questions or suggestions about our video, please leave us a comment. And if you liked the video, we are happy about a thumbs up. All shown tools and spare parts can be found on our webshop stellatech.com